distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, greetings. I'm pleased to address you today to close the side event of the 2023 United Nations Economic and Social Council ECOSOC Partnership Forum, organized by the United Nations Global Compact China Liaison Office, the International Bamboo and Rutten Organization, and the Uchari Media Group. The 2023 ECOSOC Partnership Forum is convened under the theme Accelerating Recovery from the COVID-19 and the full implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals Agenda at all levels. The COVID-19 pandemic and its impact have threatened progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals, including the urgent action needed to combat climate change, highlighting the urgency of recommitting ourselves to achieve the goals by 2030. As we enter the third year of this decade of action, we must work towards a transformative recovery from COVID-19 and pursue a collective effort to reinvigorate efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. And that is what brings us together here today to showcase and discuss how innovative partnerships can mobilize commitments and actions to advance the 2030 Agenda. Amongst these key development issues, we understand that the ocean is vital to the well-being and prosperity of humanity. During the One Ocean Summit in 2022, the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, said, and I quote, Plastic waste is a choke in the seas. We need more and more effective partnerships to address land-based sources of marine pollution. It is time to end single-use plastics. End of quote. Indeed, if we continue on our current trajectory, plastic pollution in oceans will continue to increase dramatically and is projected to be more than double by 2030. Urgent action is needed to protect our ocean from the twin crisis of plastic pollution and climate change. And today, under the theme, Accelerating Net Zero Transition Through Innovative Partnerships, SDG-Driven Business Solutions Across Sectors to Combat Ocean Plastic Crisis, we heard about a wide range of bold actions and innovative partnerships developed under the United Nations across governments and civil society and private sector to combat the ocean plastic crisis, address climate change and contribute to a net zero transition. We have learned about impressive cross-sector partnerships for sustainable and innovative business solutions to reduce the reliance on petroleum-based products and control maritime plastic pollution. I want to congratulate all the speakers and participants here at this side event today for the efforts and achievements you shared. Another major achievement highlighted was a pilot project launched by the United Nations Global Compact China Liaison Office to combat the ocean plastic crisis and accelerate a net zero transition. This pilot brings together 13 leading global companies from various sectors, including consumer goods, manufacturing, recycling solutions, e-commerce, transportation and biotech, and one major institution partner, the International Bamboo and Rutten Organization. The project focuses on providing a platform to continuously incubate innovative solutions to combat the ocean plastic crisis and accelerate the 2030 agenda through a full value chain perspective and cross-sector mutual partnerships. Despite the progress made, large-scale efforts are needed to unlock the full potential of partnerships and usher in more ambitious action to deliver on the Sustainable Development Goals. With only seven years remaining, time is running out for us to place ourselves on track to achieve the SDGs. Businesses play a key role in advancing the SDGs, but we must do more. Along with governments, the United Nations and civil society companies can leverage public-private cross-sector partnerships to take necessary action to secure a healthy ocean and expedite our transition to a net zero future. I want to take this opportunity to call on more companies to join the UN Global Compact to work with the United Nations towards building a sustainable and equitable future. Together, we can spur greater innovation, investment and collective action through effective partnerships while embracing the significant opportunities offered by a healthy ocean. I wish the 2023 ECOSOC Partnership Forum every success. Thank you very much.